what's going on my love it's nicole chanel here welcome back to my channel and as you can see from the title of today's video we are talking about my fitness update for the month so if you're interested in that keep on watching okay so last month i did a fitness update and it was my one year fitness journey i had hit my one year mark where i had been consistently working out consistently watching what i eat and consistently losing weight gaining muscle where i've been yeah, and it had been a year that I had been doing that. So I started in September 2021 and it is now October 2022. So it's a year and a month and we're just going to do an update or this month in fitness. So this is the end of October. Today is actually October, geez, 25th. Yes, October 25th. And so it's pretty much the last full week of October. And um, yeah, and I did okay for this month. So if you've been keeping up with my channel, I have a video where I did a week where I ate like JLo challenge and um, that was pretty successful. I pretty much cut out sugar and ate um, really clean. I only ate my, the meals I ate, no processed foods, um, like a few processed snacks, like rice cakes and stuff like that, but no processed food, no sugar. And I lost four pounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was like 3.8 pounds, but basically I was just like getting closer to my goal, really feeling it, right? I was just really in it. So I was super excited about that. And then the week after I weighed myself and it was back up to 170. <laughs> and it's crazy because I literally didn't change my diet at all after I did the, the JLo thing. Like I kept no sugar, no dairy. I'm making my own meals, no processed foods. Um, Actually, I take that back. I was eating canned soup. So I ate canned soup a few times that week. And I kind of, not doing research, but I would, oh, just was watching another fitness influer, influencer video. And she was talking about how um, just basically processed food is so bad for you because it's high in sodium, which causes you to hold more water on your body. And I'm like, dang, like, could the canned soup be causing the issues? Like. I don't know, like within a week, I don't know. I have to like try and figure it out more. But I do know that like having no added sugar like has really helped me um, in like the way I feel and like just my body in general. So I really think I'm going to continue that. That's what I've been doing with my eating. And as far as overall with my weight, the last time I weighed myself, I was still at 170, like I said. Um, I went down and then I went back up and then I just was like, uh, come on. But I weigh myself again in a, the next couple of days and we'll see, you know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Whatever. I'm almost to the point where I'm just like, maybe 170 is the weight my body is just gonna be, you know, like it's my, just my happy weight. And my body is still changing, you know, like I'm still like leaning out, my arms are still growing, you know, my arm muscles and stuff like that. And like my quads and my glutes and my hammies, like all of that, like muscle is still growing. So I can't be mad at that, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's at the end of the day, it's still just a number on the scale. Like it matters like how much fat is really on my body, right? I've really been thinking about doing one of those DEXA scans, like the body scans, because I really want to see that. I want to see like really how much fat is on my body and like what I need to really do to like make a change and like stuff like that. So uh, I'm going to do that research probably this month. I might do it like in the beginning of the year, like at the, the scan the beginning of the year, just because the holidays are coming up. Not in the sense that the holidays are coming up and I'm going to binge eat. Nah, that's not happening. But I am still going to have Thanksgiving and Christmas where I eat those meals because I do good any other time. I watch what I eat. And I stay super consistent. So I'm still going to have my Thanksgiving meal. Sorry. Um, I'm still going to make Christmas cookies. Sorry. But <laughs> yeah, I think it's just really about that. Balance and that's what this journey is teaching me you know it's about the balance that you keep within your life you know you eat right and you still give yourself those rewards you know you stick to your plan you still give yourself a reward so just that it's always a back and forth it's always like an up and a down but as long as like my weight is not like fluctuating too much and then really being at 170 I've been maintaining at 170 still while my body is changing so that's definitely a plus. Um, so anyway, that was kind of just an overview of what's going on. So um, I'll talk a little bit more about what I did this past month. So like I said, I did that challenge with, with JLo, but then I've also been doing no sugar for the rest of the month as well. So um, 
as far as like I said no sugar it's just no added sugar I have been having like stevia and monk fruit trying different types of um, no calorie sugar substitutes stuff like that and seeing basically if I like them and and how I can um, eat them but then I've also been having natural sugar so I have had honey and I have had uh, maple syrup and I have had fruits and stuff like that so I still have that type of sugar in my diet um, but as far as added sugar pretty much none for the past three three weeks for sure um as far as exercising i have been doing the caroline gervin epic three series i'm still in that series uh tomorrow will be day 40 for me so a day 40 is actually just 10 days left after that it's only 50 workouts yeah so 10 days left after that which is great um i'm really enjoying the program i really enjoy caroline gervin's workouts period i do have favorites i do have least favorites so it's just it's just a back and forth i'm really finding out that upper body days are just my least favorite like they drag and then depending on what type of video she has like if she has complexes good god I hate complexes um if she has just certain types of workouts unilateral oh my gosh I think I hate those too like some of them just aren't fun and they just don't keep me engaged so I have to find something else that keep me engaged so I can continue to work my body continue to work my muscles so I can stay in the groove so that's a thing but overall I really love the program and I'm really enjoying it um the lower body days are always chef's kiss they're always so good I always sweat I always get get it going like hit the my goals on my watch which I don't have one right now but you know so it's just upper body days for me but my, my thing is I really want to work my back and my arms like I really want them to grow so I have to have them consistently in my week so I just have to find I just have to find my groove like whether if I'm not doing a program I have to just get a groove and kind of stick with it so anyway we'll see how that just continues to go you know um but yeah that's what I've been doing for this past month um as far as what has been working definitely having a meal plan has been working for me um I'm just at the beginning of the week I make a plan this is what I'm gonna eat for my dinners this is what I'm gonna eat for my lunches this is what I'm gonna eat for my breakfasts and then I just go from there um I am that person though that can pretty much eat the same thing every day at least for a good five to seven days I can eat the same thing every day before I'm like okay I need something new um I also am a person that needs snacks I, okay I need a snack I need things in between the meals to kind of hold me over so for those things I've been going to like mixed nuts um fruits and vegetables for sure like like carrot sticks or apples um stuff like that so I've been going to those things and then I've also been like creating little here and there desserts um dessert is my thing I love making sweet things I love giving sweet things to other people and them loving them but like not eating sugar right now it's like okay how can I still do that and still find something for my sweet tooth so I made a couple things here and there that I really enjoyed um and that really hit my sweet tooth but still stayed within my no sh and no added sugar um spectrum so having a plan finding what works for me has really been key and clutch this month and I even though like my weight loss it still is fluctuating um, I'm still not at my goal weight for the month like even though that ha that happened I still feel like my body's changing um, and I still feel like I'm making progress so speaking of progress on to what I'm going to do for the next month so it's about to be November I'm excited because it's my birthday month if you don't know now you know <laughs> November is my birthday month so and I am doing something for my birthday I'm actually going on a solo trip I haven't told my family yet and they are going to be very surprised when I do tell them surprise is a good word I don't know if they'll be like yeah sure whatever no they probably won't be like that they'll be like are you crazy the world is crazy don't do this anyway um I am I am going to do like a little solo weekend We'll see how that goes. We'll see how the reaction is. Anyway, moving on. Uh, but it's my birthday month, so because it is my birthday month, I am um, like I said, I'm going to be doing something. And then it's also Thanksgiving. So one week is my one weekend's my birthday, and then the next weekend is Thanksgiving, right? So those two weekends in a row, I'm gonna have the I'm gonna have major reward days in a sense. So what I need to do is just stay on track 
for the days in between. And that's basically the plan, right? Like the theme of the month is gonna be stay on track so you get your reward at the end of the month. Like that's it. So I know if I stick with my workouts, I stick with my healthy eating on the days where I'm not doing something special that I can still have those special days. I also have an event that I'm going to one weekend and then an event that I'm baking for. So November is going to be a bomb month and I'm about to like plan it all out. I'm actually going to do my monthly reset right after this. Um, and yeah, we're going to plan it out. We're going to be super strategic, strategic about it. And we're going to get the things done. It's going to be Lady 780. I don't know if that's a thing, but we're going to make it a thing. Okay. <laughs> we're going to be, it's going to be a good one. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do for my fitness for November is mainly just stay on track. I'm going to make a plan and I'm going to stick to the plan. Um, I've also been better at tracking my food. I'm so excited. I've literally been saying for like the past five resets that I want to track my food better and I am finally there. I am at the point where every day I track something and that's it. I just need that little push. I just need that little uh, like one thing. Let me just track one meal and then when I go in the next day I kind of like fix it up. I put the rest of my meals in there and I fix it and I'm like okay on to the next day. But as long as I'm doing that, like as long as I'm doing that little bit where I'm like, okay, let me just put something in there. And then I go into the app and I'm like, okay, I can adjust this. I can adjust this, make sure this is tracked, boom. And then I can really see what I'm eating. Um, doing this no sugar added thing has really like shown me like how little calories I eat. Well, and also tracking has shown me how little calories I eat some days where if some days I have one meal, like one full meal, like one, and it's like 800 calories. That's not good. Especially when like when I'm burning, like because I have my watch and I have my phone, it kind of gives you an estimate of the calories that I'm burning during the day. I'm burning like 2,500 calories but I'm only eating 800 calories. That's not good, bro. That's not good. I gotta do better. And I also need to do better with my water. So that's another thing that I'm gonna implement this month is to track my water, really track it. I have one of those jugs and I fill it up and I never finish it. Uh, so we're gonna do that. And then I also have it on the app where I can track my water. So um, now that I'm in the flow of tracking my food in a pretty good flow, it's decent. Um, I'm going to continue with that flow and track water. Um, I did one time before on my other channel, I did a water challenge where I did uh, drinking a gallon a day um, for seven days. I did that challenge. It was pretty good. Like to me, I really didn't see major changes, um, but I also think that my body probably needed a little bit longer than seven days to see major changes. And when I say major changes, I don't mean like weight loss changes. I mean like changes like oh my skin cleared up tremendously oh my energy was tremendously boosted no i didn't see that so um yeah i didn't like keep up with that gallon a day thing but really i need to be drinking more water my water intake is just poor it's really poor some days it's like i drink literally eight ounces of water and nothing else like come on girl definitely pay attention to that and i need to work on making it better so I also am going to implement that for the month of November. Um, that's it guys. That's pretty much it for this video. And yeah, if you are in a fitness journey, please let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you're doing, how you're handling the holidays. I mean, you know, Thanksgiving, I feel like is a bigger one to Christmas when it comes to food. I mean, because you have all the good foods for Thanksgiving. And then by the, by the time Christmas comes around, it's like, okay, like I have all these good foods, but I had all these good foods last month, so it's fine. But <laughs> either way, it's, you know, it's a big deal, especially if you are a person who enjoy, enjoys food or it enjoys family time. Like you're going to eat when you're around your people. It's just going to happen. Oh my gosh, I have a party to go to too. I forgot. Uh, all these things. That's it for my fitness update guys. Uh, like I said, I have been doing pretty good staying on track. My weight at this point, it is what it is. I'm not going to stress over it. I'm just going to continue to stay strong in my journey as I continue to see my body changing measurements. Maybe something that I implement because if, at least if my measurements are changing, that will give me some encouragement, I feel like, to continue on as well and like not be so sad about the fact that the scale isn't moving. Mm, so sad. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can do so by hitting my face down below. Also, check out the video from my previous monthly fitness update linked on the screen. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you in my next one.
Bye.